When you build web applications, a common scenario is to display a list of items. For example, a list of names, a list of products, a list of courses, and so on. So what we want is to repeat some HTML for each item in the list. In Svelte, we can achieve that using the each block. Let's understand the syntax with an example. In the script section, I'm going to define a constant called names, which is an array of three strings. Bruce, Clark, and Diana. Our aim is to display this list of names in the UI, for which we need to use the each block. If you can recollect from the previous video, you know that we use curly braces to represent a block in the markup. So within the main tag, I'm going to add a pair of curly braces. We represent the starting of a block with the hash symbol. And this block is the each block. We end this block with curly braces, a forward slash, and the name of the block again. Now, we need a way to get hold of each name in the names array. And the syntax for that is names as name. Now this is Svelte specific syntax, so let's understand what is happening here. In the each block, names is the data defined in the script section and name is simply an alias to refer to the current item in the loop. Since we have three names, the each block basically iterates three times with name referring to each of the names. This name is what we bind to the HTML using curly braces. So within the each block, add an h2 tag we are going to bind text name. So first iteration, name is equal to the string Bruce. Second iteration, name is equal to Clark. And third iteration, name is equal to Diana. If we save the file and take a look at the browser, we see the names being displayed. If you inspect element, you can see that the h2 tag is repeated three times and the inner text is Bruce, Clark, and Diana. So the h2 element has repeated itself for each name in the names array. Sometimes you might also want to get hold of the index when rendering a list. For that, Svelte provides the index in the each block, which you can use if required. So instead of just name, we get hold of name, comma, index. Then while binding, we can also bind the index. Index plus one. If we take a look at the browser, we can see one, two, three next to the names. Index starts at zero and hence index plus one will represent one, two, and three. Now a small variation of this is iterating over an array of objects. Let's quickly take a look at an example. I'm going to create a new constant called full names and this is going to be equal to an array of objects. So we have first name and last name, Bruce Wayne, Clark Kent and Princess Diana. Now the aim is to display the list of full names in the UI. If you've understood the first example, this should be fairly straightforward to understand. Within the main tag, at the top, I'm going to add another each block. So hashtag or hash symbol, followed by the keyword each. We also need to close the each block using the forward slash. Now for the iteration, we are iterating over full names and we are going to alias each object as name. We can also get hold of the index. Within the each block, I'm going to add an h2 tag and we can render index plus one. But this time, while rendering the first and last names, 
we need to access name dot first and name dot last. Name here refers to each object in the iteration. If you now save the file and head back to the browser, we should be able to see Bruce Wayne, Clark Kent and Princess Diana. And of course, the numbers are also displayed. All right, you should now have a good understanding of the each block and its usage to render a list of elements in Svelte. But there is still a missing piece, which is the key expression that can be provided for an each block. Let's understand more about keys and lists in the next video.